Hi, my name is Jameson Blanford, Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco Systems. Today I'm here to speak to you about the mobile devices and how as you hold the mobile devices differently, the antenna pattern changes. So to give an example here, we have two different iPads, vertically oriented and then horizontally oriented, and that changes the actual antenna pattern of that device. So you need to be sure your network infrastructure is capable of beam forming or somehow focusing the energy onto that device to give it the best performance possible regardless of your orientation. So we'll be testing that here today at 25 feet, 50 feet, and then 100 feet away from the access point to test how fairly each infrastructure communicates to both the vertical and horizontally set up iPad. Now we'll get into the test. We're going to run a horizontal and vertically oriented iPad on a Cisco infrastructure and assess the difference in performance you can get when the iPad's turned one way versus the other. So we're going to start out here at our 25 foot distance and go ahead and start our Cheria throughput pairs that are going to send data downstream to both of these iPads simultaneously. All right, let's start the test. All right, so our pairs are up and running. We're going to sit here at this 25 foot marker and take a look at for the throughput to stabilize here for 10 to 15 seconds. Let that throughput graph get nice and straight line. All right, now we've waited. Our, now we can move on to our 50 foot marker. Well, we'll start to see some water falling in the throughput. We can expect that Cisco will deliver consistent results throughout this entire range. All right, so now we're at our 50 foot distance. We've seen some just small drop in throughput. Now, now it's starting to stabilize upwards. And now after we've waited at this location for 10 to 15 seconds, now we can move on to our 100 foot location, which is our furthest distance away from the access point. Okay, now we're at our 100 foot location and our chariot throughput nice and even, nice and steady for both of those iPads. In fact, we're getting an aggregate above 20 megabits per second to both of those iPads simultaneously. So we'll let that test go ahead and complete, run its full minute and 30 second test duration, and then we'll go ahead and analyze those results. All right, and the test has completed. Now we're gonna run that same test with one iPad in vertical orientation, one in horizontal orientation on Aruba infrastructure and see how the performance is at 25 feet, 50 feet, and then 100 foot distance away. All right, let's go ahead and execute that test. All right, so our Ixia pairs, chariot pairs have started. Now we're gonna stay at this close 25 foot distance location for about 10 to 15 seconds let that throughput stabilize so we get the maximum that this device is capable, capable of. Okay, we've waited there for around 10, 20 seconds. Now we can go ahead and move to our next location of 50 feet away, and we can assess how the throughput drops, increases, or decreases at that specific distance. Okay, now we've hit our 50 foot mark. Seen a little bit of decrease in throughput. Now we'll let that even out for the same 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, nice and even. Now we can go ahead and bring that out to our furthest location of 100 feet away. And there we'll be trying to send data to both those iPads simultaneously, the one vertically oriented and also the one horizontally oriented. All right, our Ixia Chariot script is now gonna continue for that full test duration of one minute and 30 seconds and then we'll be able to analyze those results after the fact. All right, so just a bit more time left on that chariot graph, and then that test will be completed, and we'll have our 25, 50 foot, and 100 foot distance throughput values. All right, the test is completed. Now let's analyze those results. Here's the floor plan for our test setup of the iPad vertical and horizontal orientation test. We had the access point under test in one room and then a wall away and at 25 foot distance from the access point 
was our first iPad location. We then moved 50 feet away and then eventually 100 feet away from the access point, causing multiple walls to be between the client and access point, as well as that 100 foot distance between the two different units. Now let's analyze the results of that chariot test. So if we look at the Cisco performance results, we can see we averaged at almost 24 megabits per second throughout that entire test duration. And then we also provided an even 12 megabits for the vertical oriented iPad and 12.2 megabits to the horizontally oriented iPad. Now let's compare that to Aruba. They provided an average of 19 megabits a second, but however, the vertically oriented iPad got around 12 megs a second, whereas the horizontal one got an unfair 8 megs per second. So clearly Aruba did not provide the same level of throughput to both of these iPads. Now let's look at the actual throughput versus distance graph. So here at 25 feet, we see Aruba was actually, you know, around 30 megabits a second. Then they dropped down to around 20 megabits a second at 50 feet. And then finally, at 100 feet, they were around 10 to 15 megabits per second. Now compare that to Cisco. You can see at 25 feet, we were around 30 megabits a second. At 50 feet, we were around 20 megabits a second. And actually at 100 feet, you can see our throughput actually increasing because ClientLink is coming in and delivering that boost of signal strength and data rate to the client to deliver around 25 megabits a second out at that 100, 100 foot location. Now finally, let's analyze the results from a different point of view. In this Ixia throughput graph, we've actually split the vertical iPad and horizontal iPad into two distinct lines so that you can see the delta between those two iPads. On the Cisco side, you can see the green and red lines pretty much mirror each other throughout the entire tests. Now if you compare that to Aruba, you can see that for a long period of time, the red iPad or the vertically oriented iPad actually greatly exceeded the throughput of the horizontal iPad, showing a distinct unfairness there in the actual algorithm. And even though we had Aruba's airtime fairness enabled, we still saw this artifact, whereas one of the iPads would get more priority than the other, and there never really was an even split between these two different devices. Right, uh, is a little higher.